Hey people, what's up? It's me, Jeremy. Um, just sitting here in my home, our home. Uh, this is the third installment of the Utopian series. Uh, welcome. So uh, I wanted to show you what's happening for us uh, recently. I recently up uploaded a video about my permaculture garden and all that stuff, and that's been the, the way of my channel so far, but now it's uh, our channel. Um, I know wifey's gonna kill me for this because, uh, our, our home is a, a wreck right now. We're in the process of moving. Uh, you can see the boxes behind me and that's just the beginning. I'll give you a quick little tour and, uh, I know it's a private thing, but hey, why not share our lives with you so you can understand who we are and, uh, yeah, she might kill me, but if, uh, if she doesn't, I'll be back with more updates soon, as soon as we, uh, get out of here. So, not sure if you saw before, but we're, got my selfie stick, I'm not used to these things. Hopefully the videos will get better. Got all kinds of stuff packed down there, and, uh, just a total mess in our house right now. Stuff everywhere, you know, of course, can't stop cooking and being normal, um, but packing up all of our most prized possessions and the things that add value to our lives whereas this kind of stuff over here is all getting yard sailed or uh, donated or given away or thrown away or we try not to waste anything but um yeah this is our home it was furnished it had a bunch of artwork on the walls before and that's becoming more empty as we go um, this has been our home for five years now and uh, cleaning everything out and seeing what we really need in life to uh, just make us happy. We're selling our home, uh, closing in, I don't know, less than a month. And uh, yeah, we are in the process now of minimalizing and downsizing. We've got our hands full, tons and tons of stuff uh, being packed, went and Got some things from Wifey's classroom that she purchased and didn't want to let go of and things that will help us organize when we convert a school bus into an off-grid RV. Uh, still some artwork in the walls that uh, mother-in-law is going to take for us and take care for us. And uh, yeah, this is our little layout of our home. It's an older home built in 1978 and uh, the new buyers are amazing people, just the most beautiful people in the world. Um, you can see some more of my artwork on the walls over here. A little bit of glare there. Let's see if you can see that. So, yeah, a black and white photography. It's just so soothing. It really stinks because a lot of this stuff we're not going to be able to put in a bus. And, um, I'll have to figure out what to do about it. Some artwork they created when I was first going to college for photography. Um, I'm not a videographer, obviously, because this video is probably really crazy for you guys to witness. But um, I just wanted to give me a little humble home talk about what we're doing and uh, maybe gain some understanding from maybe any comments we can get or, or support. Um, this life is a great life, and it really doesn't matter what you got in life. The things uh, shouldn't define you. More importantly, I think uh, that the amount of love that you share for the world and for the people around you and for your blessings of being alive, um, that's what it amounts to. Um, being a utopian, I've said this in a couple of the other videos, it's about embracing that change and uh, facing the challenges of life and trying to one-up yourself every day and instead of competing with other people you should only compete with yourself and, and be your best version every single day whether that's through spirituality or diet or charity to others um, just all-inclusive you really need to just take everything you can from this life and if there's a, a life after this, uh, take it with you and, and learn. Learn every day and gain wisdom and glean 
knowledge from those around you and, and, and don't disrespect others and, and be a lover and, and not a fighter and learn how to coexist. Um, yeah, I don't know, this is not a scripted thing, I haven't really thought about this, but I did want to give an update as to our situation. So we're selling our house, we're in contract, uh, we're not making a whole lot of money from it. But enough to provide us with uh, a model that we've talked about and researched. Um, I actually spent almost a decade with my parents from the 80s to the 90s in a converted school bus and grew up a lot of my adolescence and uh, younger life in that way. And um, it's not a normal thing to do. I guess normalcy is one of those things that we all sort of lean on, but it's, normalcy to me is, is just boring. It's simple. It's, it's too simple-minded for such a complex creature like a human being. So, uh, wifey and I are uh, taking a leave of absence from uh, normalcy. And we're going to do things a little bit different and unique and uh, although this is catching on it's becoming trendy we're not doing it as uh, trenders we're we're more concerned with how we feel inside and and what um what has become of our lives up to now we're 40 years old and it's like okay if you're gonna have a midlife crisis which everybody does i think anybody with, with anything going on in their lives knows about crisis and it's a really hard thing to deal with uh, death of family, you know, uh, my father died back in 2012, and I'll never be over that, and I don't expect to be, and don't want to be, because he's a part of me, we're all one in this, and uh, I've gleaned so much from him over the years, you know, whether it's learning how to build a house, or, uh, you know, from my mother, how to cook a great meal, um, all those things just make me who I am, and um, all the things we deal with in life define us. And it's not the things that define us. It's not the possessions. So all the stuff that, you know, ends up in boxes or, or is gifted to somebody else or, or you know, you need to make a little bit of profit off of it so you can, you know, start anew with either less or with something that better suits you. Uh, the things in your life should only add value and not decrease value from your life, if that makes any sense. Um, our worldly possessions shouldn't define us, and this goes way back to Zen teachings, um, Buddhist philosophies, you know, don't fill your bowl past the rim of it, because your stomach is only so big, and uh, excess leads to failure, excess leads to uh, sluggishness, it leads to uh, atrophy, and uh, those are things that we should all keep in mind when say this, when seeking enlightenment, when seeking change, positive change in the world, uh, we should never dismantle what's already there for us, which is soul and spirit and heart. So uh, as a utopian, as a free-thinking uh, anarchist of sorts, I'm sorry if that rubbed you the wrong way, it's uh, not meant to be a negative thing, I just don't believe in authority and I don't believe in... in, in um, social contract that I have no privy to. I have no, uh, I didn't sign anywhere when I was born and say, okay, this is how my life is going to be dictated. I, I feel like it's my sovereign right as a human being, as a creature of this planet to explore, to, to find my way on my own without, you know, a negligent bystander, uh, you know, the control mechanism. So, I'm sorry to, you know, turn my little speech here into a sort of a negative thing, uh, comparatively speaking, to Western civilization, especially, uh, it's just going haywire, and I think that's the reason so many people are waking up to the realities of their life and the oneness of us all, and uh, embracing change in a positive way, whether it's, you know, growing your own food, even if it's against the law, catching rain, I mean, come on, nobody owns the rain. So, uh, the resources that are here on Earth are plentiful, they're abundant. And the systems we have in place right now uh, create this false sense of scarcity, which should never have existed to begin with. But because of greed, because of capitalism, because people don't want to uh, work. Uh, that's 
it's not that they don't want to work. Humans are intrinsically workers. We're, we're all like worker bees. We all just want to protect the queen. And, and, and the queen, in this case, is not some hierarchy. It's, in my opinion, it's the earth. The earth is our queen. And we need to honor and obey and, and worship her rhythm. And we shouldn't force ourselves on that. Um, there's only so much we can do to save the planet um, as citizens of this country, of this world, but uh, to lose that citizenship, um, to do away with that sort of false sense of belonging and that false sense of scarcity that goes with it, that the, you know, overlords create for us, I'm sorry about that, um, this is not a conspiracy video, there's plenty of conspiracies to be talked about, but uh, this is more of a hard hitting something that, you know, is in my heart. And I want to express, you know, in an artistic way, hopefully, you'll, you'll see that from this video. And, um, that love really is all there is. And anything other than love is just nonsense. It doesn't, it doesn't s sit well with somebody who, you know, listens to their beating heart, who, you know, pays attention to their breath whenever I can get a chance and meditates on the important things like, okay, well, where am I going to find meaning in life? Is it through a job? Is it through a career? Is it through what I own? You know, chances are it's from how I reach out to others, how I share my innermost self with others. And uh, as hard as that is, and the stage fright and fear that goes along with that, uh, it's an easy thing to overcome when you realize the, the truth. And the truth is, love is all there is. So I love all you guys for joining me on this, and um, as this channel evolves, so will the technology, so will the, the content, so will the adventures, definitely. And um, I'm wishing you all well out there. I hope that you're able to deal with the struggles in life in the easiest way possible, but also in a way that reminds you that you're here for only a short time, and you've got to live it up without living they're just born dying so yeah that's the end of this um utopians episode three we're moving out of our house and i'll try to bring you along as we're uh, packing up a u-haul and, and taking it over to our my mother-in-law's house and uh, we're going to set up there temporarily while we go bus shopping uh, we just bought a, a bamboo floor flooring for uh, 300 square feet which is a little more than what a bus requires, so we're going to use that um, and then begin the design. Once we get everything gutted out and, and inspected and everything, make sure it's going to be roadworthy because we want to go to the mountains, we want to go to the rivers and the lakes and the streams and the oceans, and we may even go intercontinental. So we'll see where this road takes us. Uh, thanks for joining. Once again, please subscribe, please like, uh, please share with your friends if you feel the need um, send us a comment let me know please how I'm doing with this so far I'm trying to look into the camera and not at myself it's, it's a bad habit um, and uh, yeah embrace the change be the change you want to see because without change we're just stagnant we're just dust in the wind so uh, let the, the rhythm of nature guide you let the current take you wherever it may. Embrace the good and the bad. You can't have the yin without the yang, the light without the dark, the good without the evil. Be a good person. Put your heart on the line. And always remember. Peace.